the, the entrance antiphon for St. Matthias. It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that, rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of his brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning, concerning Judas, who was a guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord came and went among us beginning from the baptism of John until the, until the day on which he was taken, from, taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabas, who is also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, you, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place at this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens and in his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below?
He raises up the lowly from the dust, and from the dunghill he lifts up the poor, to seat, to seat them with princes and the princes of his own people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. As Jesus, Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept the, my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. So, uh, do you remember when you were a child, and you were also, if you were also Catholic then, who the ushers were? <laughs> do you remember the, did, maybe you didn't have ushers, I don't know, <laughs> or the greeters, or do you remember who the servers were when you were a kid? Maybe you were the server. Uh, do you remember who the lectors were? Just think about it. Who was your religion teacher, whether at the Catholic school or at CCD, religious education? Who were those teachers? Who were the ladies who did the funeral luncheons when you were in your 20s, in your 30s? Do you remember them? Yeah, I hope. <laughs> hey, they won't remember us either, don't worry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But a lot of them aren't here anymore, are they? They've moved on to the next journey. Really not the journey. They moved on to the goal, eternal life. But who does the funeral luncheons now? Who lectures? Who serves? Who greets? Who ushers? Who teaches? It's you. It's you. See, the mission is so great and so important that from one generation to another, we keep it going. Like in a battle, not to, not to be a proponent of war, um, but if the flag bearer gets shot down, Someone else picks it up, picks up the colors to keep moving so everybody can see the direction. And another one gets shot down, someone picks it up, keeps carrying it. And that's the same thing with our mission, is that when each of our individual times is up, someone behind us can pick up what we are doing. Not just ushering, but teaching the faith, serving the poor, proclaiming the good news. 
And with Matthias, Judas had gone to his own place. They needed to replace him to fulfill the number of 12, the completion of the tribes of Israel, to keep going out. The mission won't stop. And when the apostles were martyred, with the exception of John, who survived and died in exile, they passed on the mission to other bishops to continue from one generation to the next. So two things, one is gratitude. With great wonder and awe, we're grateful for what the Holy Spirit has done through our brothers and sisters who have gone before us. Number two is that we zealously take up the responsibility to continue the mission in whatever way. Gratitude and responsibility. Aware that God never abandons us, let us bring the needs of our community to the Lord. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the outpouring of the Spirit strengthen and embolden him in his witness to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, may the Lord who erases all divisions guide their efforts in working for peace throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For adequate rain, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, mark with the sign of faith. May God's mercy bring them swiftly to eternal peace and joy. And for the intentions of this Mass, Paul and Virginia Bender, Dave Schott, and Lloyd Schreiber, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And together we offer our parish vocations prayer. God our Father, we Thank beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your Spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You'll become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection of mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you, says the Lord, alleluia.
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, you remembered all those people that you saw growing up serving in the church? You could offer a prayer for them, have an ice cream sundae in, front of the, for the, in, in honor of them. You could um, have a toast to them. <laughs> but pray for them, okay? Because we want people to pray for us, too. So remember the, the whole church, the church triumphant, the church militant, which means we're uh, not that we're doing violence, it's just we're on mission. <clears throat> and then the church suffering, that's the church in purgatory. All right, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.